Hey, I'm Cher. Welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Welcome new subscribers. So glad to have you here and I bet each and every one of you is a Pisces. <laughs> Feel free to comment below. Let us know where you're watching from and what your sign is. Say hello. Cheers. Keep a watch around the room. You just never know what you're going to see. Spirit is heavy in the air tonight. Today. It's cold. But it's sunny. And it's beautiful. Pisces. 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 We're using the Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. Pisces. Cards are jumping. Cards want to talk. Spirit's got something to say. Pisces. I want to thank you guys for your comments, for your emails, for your gifts of love to my readings and to Spirit. Thank you so much for that. Let's get her on and let's get her done. Let's go. Pisces, let's go. Oh, it's time you made a decision, darling. It's time to make a decision. That's heard. You've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And it's a decision about something that you've been hanging on to for way, way, way too long. Way too long. Holding on very tightly. It's time to make a decision on this. There's a feeling of imbalance. Having a hard time getting your footing. Should I sit down? Should I lay down? I'm feeling kind of dizzy. Should I make a decision? Or shouldn't I? Should I hold this close to my chest? Is it worth it? Imbalance. And judgment blares its mighty trumpet. Here we go. Something's on its way back. Something you thought was dead and gone. Over. On the way back. What is it? Well, it could just be the, the sun upon the Pisces. Health, healing, well-being. Now, you could have thought maybe your health was failing and uh, maybe you had a disease or you're feel, you were feeling sick. Maybe you just lost a lot of weight over something or maybe even thought you might have been losing your mind. But what I got here is, <laughs> I know that's out there for someone. <laughs> But what I got here is finding the sun, finding the health and the healing. Pisces holding out her cup, though, looking out over the ocean, holding out her cup for the sun. But there's some kind of health coming towards you. If you've been concerned about something, Damn. Whew. Damn, there's a great big possibility. You got the sun and the star. And judgment card. There's something big. Something big coming here. You're really going to have to make some kind of decision. There's a great possibility that someone who thinks very highly of themselves very highly of themselves. Sees himself as the king or the queen of the mountain. What about them? Well, this might be just a bastardo. Because they're coming back. Even though it's over, even though you kind of feel it's over and that it's done, 
or maybe it's not over maybe you still see them but you're feeling all these red flags flapping up around you but this is someone coming back just to say goodbye just to stick and the knife is already in there just to give the knife a twist someone coming back to say goodbye with the star card there's a great possibility of this happening by someone who really thinks that they're really something here really think there's something now oh, the bastardo comes in the bastardo is a messenger and the messenger is telling you what's your intuition here listen to it Pisces listen to your intuition God knows you have it God knows you have it all signs have intuition Pisces is it should be honed it should be sharpened you know it listen to your intuition and get the hell out of Dodge I mean hey I can only read what the cards are saying here so Mr. Big Man or, or Mrs. Big Woman coming back to say goodbye to you twist the knife give her a little twist well maybe Pisces forgotten about me it's been a while so let's twist the knife let them remember me again nasty Bastardo says use your intuition go for some calmer waters person sees you in it as an empress but they like to fight they probably listen to every word you say and they're going to dwell upon it and what do you mean by that what you say that for like to fight what aren't you seeing <laughs> you know what you can't make this shit up Pisces come on <laughs> spirit screaming here at these cards what aren't you seeing <laughs> and the devil just happenstance to be right below this person who's all that all that and a bag of chips <laughs> something that you're not seeing not seeing clearly now this is the Pisces the spirit speaks oh jeez this is a Pisces who knows who knows that this is the devil that this person has addictions that this person treats you badly that this person likes to twist a knife they probably ghost and then come back and start an argument with you. They probably cling to your every word and, and analyze everything you say. And if you say anything about them, God forbid, God forbid you say anything about them. Because what do you mean? What you say that for? What do you mean? And then there's a thousand and one questions and then there's like all butt hurt. Because can't you see, like, they're, they're the king of money. They're the best. They're the best of the best. Definitely big-time narcissist here. Spirit says stay on your course and take care of you. Take care of your garden. Go out there and weed. Throw out all that crap that no longer serves you in that garden. Clean up all that debris. Have a great big brush fire. Invite the neighborhood kids over and give them some marshmallows. Take care of you. Start resoiling, reseeding, replanting, watering, nourishing. Take care of you. Love number one. Love number one. Stay on course, Pisces. Eventually, the truth's going to come in. 
You want the truth, you're going to have to wait for it, but it'll come. But there's a wait. But the truth will come to you, and isn't that always the way? Isn't that always the way? Start taking care of yourself and start doing good. Some kind of truth comes in. You start to start to see things in a better light. What kind of truth is coming in. Oh, someone jam. Someone. <laughs> Someone's missing you. Someone's in the tower. Someone now says, oh, well, Pisces was my nine of cups. I want to be recognized by them. Really? Someone now in the tower, I guess they figured out that they weren't the king bag of chips. That the bag was probably just about empty except for a few crumbs in the bottom. Somebody got some rude friggin' awakening is what happened here. And now they're seeing wish fulfillment. And the wish fulfillment is I want to be recognized. By who? By Pisces. I want Pisces to recognize me. Mm. Very immature, selfish person. Immature, selfish. Wanting to come back and take a leap. Carrying their stick in front of them. Or their stick at. And you're not going to tell you. Pisces. The energy I'm picking up on. Pisces, you're a good person. You're loving. You're caring. You've got a lot of emotion. Sometimes you got to tame it. But what you see in here, give us another card, spirit. Oh, wow. What you see in here is a possibility. Possibility that Pisces is thinking, you know what? This person's down and out now. In the tower, all the friends left. All down and out. They just want my pot of gold. Just want my money and they just want my pot of gold. Well, oh. yep. I think you're going to say no to this person. It might not last long, but I think you're going to say no to them. I can feel it. I can feel the Pisces energy. And what I got is this person, look. If they weren't in the tower then, they certainly are now. Looking back, missed opportunity. Feeling heavy laden. Crying. What have I done? How could I have refused someone who was so good to me? How could I have refused a cup of someone that was so beautiful and so loving and so attentive? And mostly with the Queen of Pentacles, so giving. How could I have refused a cup of someone so giving? Feeling guarded. That's not them. It's Pisces. Feeling guarded. Because Pisces, you know what? Even though you said no. You still got a soulmate connection with this person. No matter what. You know, you can go off into the future and find someone to marry and have children. And if you should run into this person maybe 15, 20, 20 years later, it'll always be that connection. It'll always be felt. Spirit. Bam. Pisces, stepping on it like stepping on a bug, bye bye, done, but, but, it also means rebirth, now what is it the birth of, 
what? What is the rebirth? Is it this past soulmate? Is it changing your mind? Or is it moving forward? Or is it just enjoying your own company? It's a rebirth of a brand new beginning. Yeah. In what? Manifesting. Okay. Good. It's always good to manifest. Manifesting the arrival of a soulmate. There's something about this past person. Spirit, manifesting a soulmate, is it manifesting a new soulmate? Or is it manifesting an old soulmate? Somebody from the past, somebody that, go. Someone that used to twist a knife. It is the return of the past. It is now feeling emotions and cups full of cups full of plenty, cups full of help me <laughs> choices, options. Lots of emotion, lots of feeling good, like life is good, seven cups, life is freaking good, got lots of options in my life. And someone comes speeding in, someone difficult, someone difficult, someone stubborn. Whole brand new beginning. It ended and this person coming back because somebody's manifesting. Celebrating with your emperor. Difficult or not. I'm willing to put up with it. I'm willing to try to help them. That's Pisces. Let me help you. The compassion is unfreaking believable that you have for this person. Unbelievable. No matter what they did, the compassion that you have for them is just unbelievable. Celebrating with your emperor. We have Pisces. We have Aquarius. We have Pisces. We have Aries. Again, we have Pisces, we have Capricorn, we have Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, lots of cups. We have Scorpio prominent here, we have Gemini prominent, Pisces again, really seems to be like a Pisces, Pisces, and we have a Pisces and a uh, Aries. Okay, Pisces. It's quite a story. Before I go, today's thumbnail has been just sent to me um, by a subscriber. Uh, beautiful, beautiful sky. Take a look at this sky absolutely stunning download it and make it your happy place where you can go and look at it and um, where you contemplate pretend you're there I'll try not to put too many words in so I don't block the view Pisces thanks for joining me today <laughs> no mistake